There's a term floating around that has boggled folks for some time now, chlorine lock. What is it and why does it occur? How is it one term can be the root cause of so many issues? Let's take a look at all the facts behind this issue. You enter the pool store and they test your water. Your water has been green for weeks now and you've struggled to clear it up. You're begging for a plan to clear your pool. Then you hear the dreaded words, you've got chlorine lock. Let's look at the good and the bad news of this term. Good news is, chlorine lock is a totally bogus idea. Commonly, this term is tossed around meaning that the chlorine can't kill off algae. This isn't true. Chlorine is always able to kill algae if it's at the right level. Now the bad news. It's not totally untrue either. It's a term used to describe when cyanuric acid level is overly high, your chlorine level too must be increased in order to kill off algae. There comes a point where it's no longer practical to try and maintain such high chlorine level, so you'll need to lower your cyanuric acid level. Unfortunately, the only practical way that trouble-free pool has found to lower your cyanuric acid level is by draining some of your pool water and refilling it with fresh water. As we discussed in the FCCYA video, if a user keeps enough chlorine in their water in relationship to their cyanuric acid level, CYA, algae will be killed off. At CYA levels around 100, however, a user will have a very difficult time trying to maintain their water, and often they'll face an algae outbreak that's very difficult to clear up. For more assistance on this or any other pool-related issue, please join us at TroubleFreePool.com.